predicted the great catastrophe, the devastation from the stars. A once peaceful and prosperous race, the Kyrie fell victim to this mysterious and terrible force. Their flourishing homeworld, Chiron, reduced to a planet ruled by chaos and hostility. A blazing desert wasteland, dominated by a never-ending struggle for survival. And only those willing to adapt, survived. The Kyrie adapted. The Kyrie survived. Radical changes to Chiron created Chironite a source of untold power. With it, they brought neighboring worlds to their knees. Yet, it would condemn them to an even crueler fate, as they would be forever bound to their Chironite rich world. A dying planet they so fiercely despised. But another great force was destined to find them. And, with his help, the Kyre would end their fall from paradise and begin their rise from hell. Thank you. Thank you. Fellow citizens, fellow Americans, as we head toward a new age, an age of seemingly limitless exploration, an age of boundless technological progress, we head towards a sea of unforeseeable challenges. Forces, both political and industrial, both local and otherwise, seek to irrevocably tie us to an increasingly globalized world. They seek to strip us of our ideology, our traditions, our way of life. The things that make our lasting democracy so great under the guise of a unified Earth. A single people, a people controlled by an insidious and unseen power. Every step we take toward the future must be a step made with caution, as this power seeks to not only strip us of our sovereignty and the prosperity it brings, but to strip us of our individual freedoms as well. Against this power, we will act.
they say, live long and kick ass. Well, you just pissed off the wrong woman. That's all of them. Good job.
yourself to be yet another experiment, Shelly. And this experiment's about to kick your ass. <laughs> Let's end this, Heskel. <laughs> Triple barrel hand cannon got the job done just fine. Come on. <laughs> 